Hey everybody, like you like to hear and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Suyu, the best fork of Yuzu, the Nintendo Switch emulator for PC. After Yuzu shut down, many developers continue its development through forks and Suyu stands out as the most polished and easy to use. I'll cover everything from installation to setting up multiplayer so by the end of this video you should have everything you need. Timestamps are in the description and chapters are included for easy navigation. Anyway, to start things off, go on Google and search suyu.dev and it should take you to this site. Next click on Get Suyu and you'll get taken to a GitHub page where you'll see different download options for different PCs. I'm assuming most of you guys are using Windows so download the one that says Suyu Windows x86. By the way, we're going to need a program to extract the files and the emulator so I'd recommend getting 7-zip or WinRAR. Once Suyu is done downloading, don't open it just yet because you guys are going to need two other files to make this emulator work, prod keys and firmware. Now I cannot tell you exactly where to get these files, so you have to do some research on your own. I promise you it's not hard. But once you have Suyu downloaded in these two other files, extract the Suyu zip folder, open up the new folder, and scroll down until you see the emulator file. Open it up. When you load up Suyu for the first time, this pop-up saying encryption keys are missing is going to appear. Just click OK, and then in the top left corner, go to Tools, Install decryption keys, and wherever you have your prod keys folder, in my case it's on my desktop, open it up and select the prod keys file. It should now say decryption keys were successfully installed. Now go back to the tools in the top left corner, select install firmware, locate your firmware folder, when you open it up it'll be empty, don't worry just click select folder. Once you've installed the prod keys and firmware, the emulator will be ready to go. All you need now is your Switch games aka Switch ROMs. Once again, I can't tell you guys how to get these, but with a little bit of research you'll find your answer. But once you have your ROMs, you'll want to extract them and inside the folder you'll either see an XIC file or an NSP file. When you find these files, I 100% recommend making a ROMs folder on your desktop to keep everything organized. I also recommend making a Switch subfolder inside the main ROMs folder so you can keep all of your Switch ROMs in there. But don't close it out yet because the Switch folder that you made inside the ROMs folder, inside of that folder create another one called Updates Plus DLC. I'll get into this later in the video but I promise you keeping everything organized will make your life easier. Now go back to Suyu and double click where it tells you to double click, go locate your ROMs folder and open that folder to select your Switch folder which contains all of your Switch ROMs. If you want to change the UI, go to the top left corner and select Emulation, Configure, and in the General tab go to UI. Here you can change two things. One is the theme, which just changes the color of how everything looks, and two is the game list. These are my settings on screen, so if you like what you see, go ahead and copy it down, but feel free to have it to your own liking. Suyu supports any controller that can connect via Bluetooth, which means the Switch Pro controller, Xbox controllers, and PlayStation controllers, but you can also be a weirdo and just use mouse and keyboard. The cool thing about Suyu is that the motion slash tilt controls are all already set up for you. To test it out, go to the top left to Emulation, Configure, Controls, and select the controller you're using up here. You can also change the type of controller you'd be emulating up here, but I'd suggest just keeping it as Pro Controller. As you guys can see here, I'm using a PS5 controller and I didn't change any of my inputs or anything. These are the default settings and the motion controls are all set up for me. Obviously, feel free to change the inputs to your liking and you can also have different control profiles for different games if you really want to. To do that, you just have to remap the controls to your liking, click Save, New, and then just select the profile before you start up a game. To have the best experience on Suyu, go to your settings and click on graphics. Make sure the API is on Vulkan. The device selected is your graphics card. Have VSync off. Disable VSync and set the resolution as 2 times or 1 times if you want to play it safe. I have my FPS sharpness at 100%, but play around with it to see what looks best for you. Now go to advanced and have your accuracy level as high and copy these settings that you see down here. And just like that, your games will run smoothly and look sharp. To install updates and DLC for your games, you'll need the files first. Unfortunately, I cannot show or provide you guys on how to get updates or DLC for your games, so once again, you'll have to do some quick research on your own. Once you have the update or DLC, go ahead and drop it in the updates plus DLC subfolder in your ROMs folder that we made earlier in this video. Now in Suyu, go to the top left corner and click on File, Install Files to NAN, Go find the Updates Plus DLC folder, click on the Update or DLC file, and then go to Open. You're going to get this indication right here to install it, go ahead and click on it. And just like that, you've now updated your game. 
Now, if you're going to want to go to previous versions or remove the DLC, right click on your game and select properties. Under add-ons, you'll see the updates and DLC listed here. And just uncheck mark them if you want to go to the previous version you were on or if for some reason you don't want to use the DLC. To add mods to your game, right click on it and open the mod data location. In here, just drag and drop the mods you want to add to your game. Note that sometimes mod files include instructions or extra steps for them to work, so just read them over. Also, sometimes you're going to need to manually drag and drop the exefs and romsf files for the mod to work. If you have multiple mods installed, or want to go back to the vanilla experience, or just want fewer mods, right click on the game and then go to properties. All your updates, DLCs, and mods will be listed under here. So go ahead and pick and choose which mods you'd like to use. There are a couple of ways to play multiplayer games on Suyu, and each method serves a different purpose. The first method I'm going to show you guys how to set up multiplayer and join online lobbies in Suyu. If you click here on multiplayer, you won't be able to see anything, but after this method, you'll be able to see online lobbies for games you can join. First, go to the top left corner to File, Open Suyu Folder, then make sure to close your emulator before proceeding with these next steps. Go to Config, then Qt Config. This notepad will open up and just scroll all the way down till you see Web Service. From here, I want you guys to go to the link in the description that will say online play and click on the link. It will direct you to this website and from here where it says configuration generator, just put any username you want and then click on generate config. This screen will pop up and just scroll down till you see the suyu configuration. Copy this web service and paste it back into the qt config file like this. Before you close this notepad, go to File and Save. Now go back to Suyu and click on Multiplayer and Browse Public Game Lobbies and as you can see here, we can now all see the different lobbies available from different games. The Direct Connect feature is just for those who want to create a public lobby for your friends to join. There are a couple ways to set this up, but Lakitu and I suggest using a VPN, because this video is sponsored by no one but we recommend downloading Radmin VPN, since it's free and easy to use. Also, a quick side note is that you and your friends all need the same exact ROM file for whichever game you'll be playing. So once you've downloaded Radmin VPN and you're the one hosting the private room, you'll need to create a private network for your friends to connect to. To do that, click on Network and Create a Network. Make sure to keep the network name and password only between you and your friends. So only tell those you trust to join your network. Once you've created the network, it should appear here. You can enable and disable the network at any time you'd like, by simply right-clicking on the name. Now if you're the one joining the private room, click on Network, and then Join Network. Put in the network name and password of the room you'll be joining. Once you and your friends are in a private network on Radmin VPN, go back to see you. And the host of the private network is going to click on Multiplayer and then Create Room while those who click the private network are going to click on Direct Connect to Room instead. Now, whether you're the only one creating the room or joining the room, keep the port as the default number, 24872. If you're creating the room, make a password for the room or just have it unlisted. Set the number of players you want and select the game you'll all be playing. For those who are joining the room, like I said previously, keep the port number as 24872. And for the server address, have the host of the private network in Radmin VPN send you the IP that's located here. Enter a password if there is one. And once all that is complete, you and your friends are now in a private room. With this, you'll be able to play games like Super Mario Party Jamboree, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and so many more via the local play feature in the game, which opens up a lot of options for modes that are stuck behind local play. So you'll be able to play Splatoon against a friend, which is pretty neat. For those who want to play local multiplayer games online, then look no further than downloading Parsec. It's a free application that allows you to host local multiplayer games online for your friends. To set up Parsec, you first need to download and create an account. Once that's done, open up Parsec and add your friends. After you add them or they add you, their PC should appear on this screen. When deciding who will host the game, just make sure the host has good internet. Now to whoever is going to host the game, go into your settings, host, and scroll down till you see Parsec Virtual USB Game Pads. Install the driver and restart your Parsec once it's done downloading. Go back to your settings and you should not be able to enable this option. Also, make sure that the quality setting down here is on lowest latency. 
Now go to approve apps and select suit you configuration. After that, tell your friend that you're now good to go and they should be able to connect to your PC. Down here in the bottom left, you can permit your friend to control the keyboard and mouse, but I doubt anyone watching is playing on mouse and keyboard. So go ahead into suit you and click on emulation, configure, and controls. Click on player 2, connect controller, and whoever the second player is, proceed to move around the joysticks or click on random buttons till you hear the window sound. After you hear that sound under input device, you should be able to see this Xbox controller option. Select it and the player's second controller should now work for whatever game you guys are trying to play. And just like that, you now have Suyu ready to go. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe. Any support shown really does mean a lot to me. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all on the next one. Ciao!